Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm John, and you're watching Road Reality. Have you subscribed yet? Click the little button right here. Everybody else is doing it. Anyway, recently I posted a video where I installed this tour pack on my Street Glide. And since then, I've gotten a lot of questions. And the number one question I've gotten is, what specifically was the pain in the butt during the installation? You mentioned it after picking up the parts and putting this tour pack on your bike, but you did give us the actual nitty gritty. So today, I'm gonna answer that question. But first, we're gonna get my Harley out of the trailer and into the sunlight. All right, here we go. Got the bike out of the trailer. Now we can take the tour pack off. After that's off, we can take the seat, the saddlebag, and the side cover off. And then I can show you where the pain began. Let's begin. All right, tour pack comes off first. Next, we'll get the seat off. And while I'm at it, take the saddlebag off too. Now we can get the side cover off and this strap here. All right, now that all that's off, let's dig in. I say that a lot, don't I? The factory antenna wire comes to here. They supplied a whole new wire that I ran along here and all the way down there, which we'll get to in a minute. But I couldn't find a good way to run it underneath the here without taking everything else off. And I just wasn't willing to do it. But I must have messed around with that for like an hour trying to figure out how to get that run right. So the factory antenna hole is here. The factory bracket is here. And I left that cable, as you can tell. But they supplied a whole new cable that runs from way up there somewhere all the way back to here. And then you actually have to take this bolt out. And once you get this bolt out, then you can add the new antenna relocation bracket in, which is right here. And that was a huge pain in the butt. The other pain in the butt was actually getting the tour pack to connect to the quick release hardware. It's got four points for docking and the front forks in like this. It's got rubber uh, pieces on it, but it forks in here and then the back didn't quite line up side to side. So you kind of have to jimmy it back and forth and get it to pop into place and then it clicks. But once it's in there, it ain't going anywhere. Yep, so that's pretty much what was a pain in the butt on this install. You know, it is what it is. I ain't too bright, but I figured it out. I got the thing on there. And while we have the tour pack off, I can show you some of its features, like how to install it. Let me put the bike back together and we'll take a look-see inside the tour pack. All 
Okay, bikes back together. Let's take a closer look at the tour pack. Okay, on the underside, you can see the four studs. And basically, to install the tour pack under this mounting bracket, that's all you need. I currently have mine forward facing as much as possible, but you can see it's got slots here. I'll zoom in there. You can see it's got a slot on each bolt. So you can move it fore and aft, depending on the size of your passenger or whatever weight distribution needs you need. But yeah, once you get these four bolts in, then tighten them down and the thing's ready to install on your bike. It's actually pretty easy. The next big hurdle is swapping over the hinges. If you can see in there, there are eight bolts that hold each hinge on. There's two, four, six, eight. And they hold each hinge on. And then there's a couple four bolts that hold this latch on. And that's it for swapping the hardware. But it's a fiddly bit of kit, as my friends across the pond would say. But I love having this thing on here. Very useful. So let's get it put back on the bike. Well, once you, uh, once you hear the click on each side, you know the tour pack's locked in. Now she's ready for a ride. So I hope that was a little more enlightening than my last video on the installation headaches of a DIY tour pack, even if it is Harley. If you like this video, give it a like. Let me know what you learned below, and please consider subscribing. Until I see you again, keep the shiny side up. <laughs>